Hey there crew and welcome to a video announcement for some field trips I have coming up in just a few weeks in northern Utah and so if you can get to northern Utah in the next little bit um, flying to Salt Lake City if you're in the region this might be of interest to you or if you know of anyone that's interested in the geology of that area I just wanted to put together a little bit of more information about the field trips and show folks uh, what we're gonna see when we're out there so as again these are in the northern Utah area and the dates are September 27th to the 29th so there's three different field days to different locations, different destinations, and you can sign up for all three or two or one day, whatever works best for you. Uh, Salt Lake City sits right here, uh, airports out here, and the first area we're gonna head to is Little Cottonwood Canyon. So I'll show you a few photos of this area here in a second. Spectacular geology, a big U-shaped glaciated valley, uh, and it'll culminate with a, a tram ride up to the top of Hidden Peak at Snowbird Ski Resort. The next day on Saturday the 28th, we will be out at Antelope Island State Park, one of my favorite places uh, in all of northern Utah, just fantastic geology, great views of the Wasatch, and some really interesting rocks that record some very early events in Earth's history. Finally, on September 29th, this Sunday, we'll do a bit of a transect from Ogden Canyon, uh, and then up and over the Wasatch, and then into the Echo Canyon region over here. We'll actually be going from rocks that are well within the severe rogeny rocks that were deformed and then look at some of the basin deposits so let me show you just a few uh, bits of fun eye candy we'll start the 27th on the little cottonwood canyon field trip we're going to meet and convene at gk gilbert geologic view park right at the mouth of little cottonwood canyon a great place for us to set a context for the what we're going to see for the rest of that day great views from there we can actually uh, disseminate and discuss quite a bit of geology just from this point but then we'll head up the canyon later again this classic u-shaped canyon that was uh, carved by a glacier during the pleistocene during the last ice age we'll stop at lisa falls and look at some of the rocks here some of the in impressive rocks that formed in the last 28 or so million years here uh, near the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon. Head up towards Snowbird Ski Resort. We can see there's a great diversity of rocks, structures, um, just fantastic geolog geologic views along with the scenic views as well. And then we'll take the tram for those that want to uh, up to Hidden Peak and then ride it back down. But at the top of Hidden Peak we can look at some really great geology as well. So that's a quick overview of the first day. The second day out at Antelope Island State Park will mainly be exploring themes related to Lake Bonneville. You can see some of the prominent shorelines here, uh, a high one up here and a lower one down here. In addition to looking at the rocks themselves, some of which preserve some really interesting uh, periods of earth history such as this outcrop uh, as well as this one great views of the Wasatch and the Great Salt Lake as well again one of my favorite places to be out on Antelope Island we'll wrap up our field trips with Sunday's field trip which is a severe orogeny transect from Ogden to Echo start near the mouth of Ogden Canyon next to this waterfall go through these very old rocks that make up the mouth of Ogden Canyon move our way up into some of the tilted rocks where some younger deposits are plastered on top of them uh, eventually work our way to the top of the canyon where there's a very impressive structure from the severe orogeny uh, then we'll head up through Morgan Valley and into Morgan Canyon where we'll look at some more structures related to the deformation associated with the severe orogeny these fold and thrust belts that are just iconic in this part of Utah and then we'll end out in the to our farthest east extent out in the basin deposits the Echo Canyon area where we can see some of these deposits that were shed at the foot of these immense and large cliffs so where do we go to find out more you can go to my website which is in the description under this video we'll see geology.com uh, click on field trips and that will bring you to a link where you can sign up for one of these field trips um, get on the roster we still have space available in each one of these so you can get signed up find out all the information you need to know they run about 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You bring a sack lunch, you're kind of ready for the elements. You know how it works, just typical field trip attire, but really great environment in which for us to learn together, 
learn from each other as well as the rocks and the landscapes around us. Also have some other trips in October and November that I'll announce with a separate video. But for now, my focus is on these northern Utah trips. So hopefully we can get some of you out there. I'd love to see you. I'd love to learn with you and share some of these great locations with you. So hopefully you can get signed up. And if not, I understand. And maybe we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.